Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered if we're alone in the universe? Have you pondered on the possibility of civilizations beyond our galaxy? Or perhaps questioned why, in this vast cosmic expanse brimming with billions of stars and planets, we've yet to encounter any signs of extraterrestrial life? These inquiries, they tap into a profound puzzle that has intrigued thinkers for decades. This question brings us to the fascinating concept known as the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, is a question that has puzzled scientists for decades. So what exactly is this paradox about? It's all about extraterrestrial life. The paradox arises from the contradiction between the high probability estimates for the existence of alien civilizations and the lack of evidence or contact with such civilizations. Enrico Fermi was an Italian physicist, a Nobel laureate, and one of the minds behind the creation of the first nuclear reactor. The paradox gets its name from a casual conversation Fermi had over lunch with colleagues in the summer of 1950. Fermi, known for his quick, back-of-the-envelope calculations, pointed out that if there are a large number of technologically advanced civilizations in the galaxy, then it would be expected that we would have already had contact with such a civilization. But we haven't, hence the paradox. To understand this paradox better, we need to touch upon two concepts, the Drake Equation and the Great Filter. The Drake Equation, developed by Frank Drake, not as a way to find an answer, but to stimulate scientific dialogue, is a probabilistic argument that estimates the number of active, communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. It takes into account factors like the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets that could potentially support life. On the other hand, the Great Filter is a hypothetical barrier to explain why civilizations are scarce in the universe. It suggests that at some point from pre-life to a Type 3 civilization, a civilization that can harness the energy of an entire galaxy, there's a wall that all or nearly all attempts at life hit. So with billions of potential planets out there, the question remains, where is everybody? To better understand the Fermi paradox, we need to delve into the Drake equation and the Great Filter. The Drake equation, proposed by Frank Drake in the early 1960s, is a thought experiment. It offers a way to estimate the number of advanced civilizations in our galaxy, the Milky Way. The equation factors in variables like the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars that have planets, the number of planets that could potentially support life, and so on. The intriguing thing about the Drake equation is its open-endedness. The values we plug into the equation can drastically change the outcome, leading to estimates ranging from a solitary civilization, us, to millions of civilizations across the galaxy. Now, this brings us back to the Fermi paradox. If there are potentially so many civilizations out there, why haven't we detected any signs of them? This is where the concept of the Great Filter comes in. The Great Filter is a theoretical barrier that life must overcome to become a space-faring civilization. It could be anything from a catastrophic event to an inherent difficulty in evolving complex life. The Great Filter Theory suggests that there's a stage in the evolution of life that is extremely hard to pass, and this could be why we see no signs of intelligent life elsewhere. Now, the question that keeps us all awake at night, have we passed the Great Filter, or is it still ahead of us? If we've passed it, it means we're among the lucky few who managed to reach this stage of technological advancement. If it's still ahead of us, well, that's a bit more ominous. It could mean that we're heading towards a hurdle that no civilization has successfully crossed. The Great Filter Theory suggests that something prevents life from spreading throughout the universe. Could we have already passed this filter, or is it still ahead of us? This question is a stark reminder of our place in the universe and the mysteries it still holds. The Fermi Paradox isn't just a scientific conundrum. It carries profound implications for our understanding of existence. As we grapple with the Fermi Paradox, we're not just wondering about the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. We're also confronting existential questions about our own future. The paradox challenges us to consider the possibility that we may be alone in the universe, or at least in our galaxy. This can be a sobering thought as it implies that our survival and the preservation of our species is entirely up to us. Then there's the concept of existential risk. The silence we perceive in the cosmos might suggest that advanced civilizations tend to self-destruct. 
This idea is deeply intertwined with the great filter theory which we've discussed earlier. Could our future hold a similar fate if we're not careful? Moreover, the Fermi paradox provokes us to think about the vastness of the universe and our place within it. We're but a tiny speck in the cosmic ocean, yet we're capable of pondering these profound questions. It's a testament to the remarkable capabilities of the human mind. The paradox also encourages us to keep exploring, to keep seeking answers. Perhaps one day we'll solve this cosmic mystery. Whether we find the universe teeming with life or eerily silent, the journey of discovery is in itself a testament to our curiosity and resilience as a species. The Fermi Paradox pushes us to question our place in the universe and our future as a species. The Fermi Paradox is a question that has no definitive answers yet. It is a cosmic conundrum that ponders over the existence of extraterrestrial life, named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, Where is everybody? In our journey today, we've revisited the Drake Equation, a scientific formula that estimates the number of civilizations in our galaxy with whom we might communicate. We've also delved into the concept of the Great Filter, a hypothetical barrier that may explain why we haven't detected signs of advanced civilizations yet. These theories and ideas encapsulate the essence of the Fermi Paradox. It's a fascinating concept that stretches our understanding of life, space, and everything in between. It pushes us to question, to explore, and to seek the unknown. As we continue to explore the cosmos, perhaps one day we might finally answer Fermi's question, where is everybody?